Thanks for stopping by my poster. I am Matt Limmer, a grad student here at Missouri S&T. And behind me is the field site from the poster. Here we have a, a public park in Rowland, Missouri, just blocks away from our analytical labs. And uh, there's a TC and PC spill from that dry cleaning facility off to the right. Back in the 50s through the 70s, they frequently used chlorinated solvents to do dry clean. And since then, the contaminants have managed to get into the groundwater and have traveled towards the pond, uh, and meanwhile intercepting some of the trees at the, on the field site. We've also planted here some willows and poplars just this spring. These are approximately three or four months old. And uh, that'll be a, a fighter mediation project that'll be ongoing at the site. But we've been sampling uh, a couple of the bald cypress and the oak trees every week or so for the past couple of years. Uh, to get an idea of the seasonal variation of fluorinated solvents in these trees. So let's go take a look at how we'd actually sample each one of these trees. So here is one of our trees that we've been sampling down at Schumann Park. And I've got a spemi fiber, which I'll be using to take the, the sample from the tree. And in the tree is this port. And the port is currently sealed with this wire, which I'd remove. And then I would insert the spemi fiber into the port. And behind the port is some headspace. And I'll extend the fiber into the headspace and allow it to equilibrate for five minutes. After five minutes, I would retract the fiber, put a cap on it, and transport it up to the GC for sampling. So now we have our sample back in the lab. All we have to do is insert it into the GC, extend the fiber, and wait for the three minute absorption time. After that's done, we retract the fiber, let the GC finish its run, and head on back down to the Schumann to take another sample.